Okay, so uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. So today we are, I hope you are in the right class. It's a BMM 3413 automatic control. So previously, uh, last semester, this subject, uh, subject code is BMM 3613. So if any of you have taken BMM 3613, so it's the same subject, okay? So you can just um, drop, okay? And it's the same subject, but only the code uh, number is changed, okay? And a little bit of the teaching plan also changed, okay? So today, um, I'm going to uh, introduce to you about the course, about what we are going to learn, what do you need during uh, this semester for this subject, okay? <clears throat> okay, so a little bit about the information about the course. So it's a three credit hours subject. And this section is section one. Okay, make sure you are in the right section. And our class, as mentioned by your friends in WhatsApp group, it's on Monday and Wednesday, 10 to 12. Okay. Uh, please check again. Uh, I think it's correct. Okay? It's 10 to 12 because last Thursday it's 12 p.m. So a bit confusing. And um, the prerequisite subject is dynamics. So previously, uh, the code for dynamics, I'm not sure. But uh, for the new cost structure, the dynamics that you should take is BMM 1223. Okay? So if you have taken uh, similar dynamics, so it's still uh, acceptable, okay? And of course, uh, I forgot to introduce myself. So myself, uh, it's Muhammad uh, Jamil bin Muhammad Uttaruddin. So you can call me uh, Sir, Doctor, or uh, anything suitable, okay? So a bit about the synopsis of this subject. So this course introduces linear time invariant, control system modeling, design and analysis. And topics that will be covered are basic control system properties, the frequency domain modeling of mechanical systems, time response analysis, frequency response analysis, stability analysis, steady state analysis, and designing controller using root lockers, compensator, and PID. So basically, uh, this subject will involve a lot of calculations and a lot of um, designing, yeah? designing uh, a, a controller to control a, a, a system. So we focus on mechanical system since you are from mechanical engineering. So for the new cost structure, there are four COs okay, or cost outcomes. So the first one is to understand a control system model and properties. Second one is to analyze problems related to a control system, time response and frequency response. The third one is to design a suitable controller for a control system using root lockers, compensator and PID. And lastly, will be, you will be investigate the stability of a controller or a control system using route criteria and root lockers. So all of this, maybe some of the terms uh, a bit uh, new to you. Maybe some of you think uh, already seen these terms before, but don't worry, we will cover this throughout this semester. So in this subject, there are five chapters, okay? So we have chapter one, which will be about some introduction about the control system the concept. And then chapter two will be about modeling the dynamics of system. So I think this one, uh, I think all of you already learned in dynamics and in ODE, how to use Laplace transform, how to uh, model a translational system and rotational system. Okay, so this involves mechanical system. Okay, everything that you have learned in dynamics will be uh, sort of like relearn. Okay, belajar balik. And then chapter three, we will analyze uh, the control system. 
by uh, using uh, reduction of subsystem. And we will look also at uh, types of system involving first order and second order. And then chapter four will be uh, more towards uh, stability analysis. We'll, we will be analyzing uh, the stability of a system using Routledge criteria, steady state error, and also root locus. And then lastly, we will um, develop a controller to ensure that a system that you have uh, developed is functioning within a stable uh, criteria. So we will use a compensator and also PID controller. So these are the references. So preferably if you can find the first book, then it's, uh, it should be uh, enough for you to do uh, reference it to, uh, to read for an extra uh, information that maybe cannot be uh, obtained from lecture notes. And the other books are uh, not really important, but if you can find the first one, uh, it's uh, good already. So this is the assessment for this subject. So we have a 20% quiz and 20% project and 60% uh, final exam, okay? So uh, for quizzes, uh, there will be five quizzes that will be released, um, not weekly, but um, there will be announcement uh, um, in Kalam on when the quiz will be released. Usually it's starting from week four, and then maybe the next one, week seven, week 10, week 12, something like that, okay? And also we have project. <clears throat> so project, uh, they will, um, it is divided into five parts, okay? So it's similar to quiz. So for project, there are five. Uh, okay, similar to project. And then, uh, as you know, we uh, our final exam has uh, changed to 60%. So um, the weight, the weightage for final exam is um, larger okay, for the, uh, for the subject. So if you can, uh, if you think that you are not uh, good at doing exams, then try your best to do well in the quiz and project. And then for the final exam. Uh, if you, if you think you are good at final exam, at answering exam question, then you can just focus for final exam and ignoring the quiz and project. But if you want to get a good score for this subject, then uh, try your best to do well on all of the assessments. Okay, any question before we uh, proceed and end the first class? Yes, do, do we have a midterm exam? Oh, oh, we don't have midterm, okay. Uh, oh. For automatic control, we don't have midterm. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, regarding the project, uh, actually you are doing the project individually. So I've okay. posted in Kalam. Uh, for project, you need to have uh, MATLAB, okay. So please try uh, get MATLAB from now. Uh, version of MATLAB is 2015 and above and try to get uh, MATLAB um, because a uh, project is highly dependent on MATLAB, okay? Uh, Dr. Say, uh, before this, uh, the project have a five project, Dr. Yeah, uh, now it has uh, five parts, okay? Oh, five uh, parts, okay. But uh, the, the project uh, question is already posted in column, so you can okay. uh, have a look at what sort of uh, question. question, okay? Okay, Propose thank you. in the project. Okay, any question uh, that you think um, macam tak faham ke? Okay, so um, before... Okay, uh, okay, thank you. Okay, so before um, 
uh, I finished this class, uh, I want to uh, give give you a bit about uh, study tips. Okay, study tips on um, well, general tips on how to study for subjects in university. Okay, so um, in university, it's uh, totally different compared to what you have gone through in high school or maybe in matriculations. For example, in high school, you probably uh, have a lot of exercise. You can find exercise from books or you have a lot of uh, reference books in library or maybe you have past year questions or you can um, have soalan percubaan from uh, sekolah asrama penuh ke, for example. Or in matriculation, you have um, saya rasa dekat matriculation, you have prep prep time where you can do a uh, tutorial with friends and then discuss with uh, lecturers, for example. But in university, uh, it's slightly different, especially in uh, this time where uh, you are studying online. Okay, Bila online, uh, nak discuss dengan kawan pun macam, uh, macam, uh, macam uh, kena online macam pelik-pelik lah. Saya tak tahu. Okay. Uh, and also in university, you also involve with uh, extracurricular activity. Maybe if you are in college, you may, may be involved in other activities. And there are so many subjects that you have to uh, focus, not only automatic control. So you have to now um, re-strategize your study, your study technique or your, your method of study that you have used uh, since high school, okay, maybe during high school, uh, study last minute, you boleh dapat A, SPM, at maths contoh lah. Ataupun uh, study berterusan uh, every day, you can score. But bila masuk universiti, maybe lain macam sikit, tak, de, tak sama macam kat sekolah. So I want to give you a tips uh, that were given to me by my professor masa di Universiti Melayu dulu. So professor uh, saya ni, dia lah yang uh, basically create the course uh, in University Malaya, one of the course, Biomedical Engineering. So before he created the course, he already planned uh, with his group how a student actually um, supposedly to study, uh, to effectively study in university. So ideally, uh, your method of study should be divided into three, Okay, starting from uh, in university lah. okay so for um, during your class usually in your class you will be given uh, maybe two hours maximum to study with lecturer okay so lecturer will give you lectures or teach you and maybe sometimes they will give you uh, questions so during class uh, ideally you should uh, give uh, full attention maksudnya kena datang kelas lah Kalau tak nak datang pun tak apa. If you have, if you think you are good enough or you can study through uh, my video later, it's okay. But ideally, you should come to class, online class, and give uh, full attention because during class is the only time that you study. You actually study. Sebab selepas waktu kelas, memang tak akan study lah. Tak mungkin. Tak mungkin akan study sebab akan buat benda lain. Contohnya masak ke, bermain ke, for example. So during class, it's good if you can give uh, full attention. Maybe sometimes dalam kelas mengantuk, okay, that's fine. But uh, give uh, maximum attention as much as possible. And if you have any question, just ask, okay. Don't be afraid, okay. Saya uh, dalam kelas saya boleh bertanya. Mungkin kelas lecture lain, mungkin sedikit tak boleh bertanya ke ataupun takut ke. Tapi dalam kelas saya, you can just ask questions if you don't understand anything, okay? And preferably, if uh, you can discuss with your friends, uh, that's good, lah, okay? But uh, online class, maybe you have different ways of discussing with friends. But uh, in university, you have uh, two other methods of study, which is before starting of the class and after the end of the class. So before starting the class, you should actually spend about five minutes, okay? maybe five minutes or uh, 10 minutes and go through the lecture notes that you are going to learn in uh, during the class later. 
just have a look at the lecture notes tak perlu fahamkan just make sure make sure yourself uh, familiar with the lecture notes okey faham apa benda yang ada dalam lecture notes tu apa uh, benda uh, yang kita akan belajar maybe gambar ke words ke you don't have to understand the lecture notes macam uh, nak study untuk exam okey just go through the lecture notes okay? so that bila lecturer uh, teach you later you already see the lecture notes you know that this slide that lecturer shown to you you have seen it before okay and then after class uh, you should spend more time okay maybe about half an hour or one hour to either recap on what you have studied uh recap maybe just go back to your lecture notes maybe before sleep ke before tidur ke or do your assignments or tutorials okay spend maybe 30 minutes or one hour so if you follow this uh, strategy actually you are, are studying enough okay cukup dah cukup dah untuk study di university tak perlulah study like every day ataupun uh, do a last minute study so if you can try this uh, then i I can assure you, you will uh, succeed well, okay? Uh, tak adalah dapat A, okay? Tapi uh, boleh lah faham subjek tu, tak perlulah uh, study every day ke, okay? So that's it for today. Thank so, you, uh, very useful. Okay, so thank you. Um, kita akan start kelas hari uh, Rabu ni, uh, our first lecture. And if you have any any doubts or questions, uh, feel free to ask me, okay? So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.